my channel or welcome if you are new. I am Brittany and I'm a full-time work from the home mama. I have two boys, Liam who is five, almost six next month, and Caleb who is three. And I share a lot of mother lifestyle content here on my channel. I do a lot of routine videos. I love routines. So speaking of routines, today's video is going to be kind of like a get it all done style video it's going to be my routine on a Sunday how I prepare for the week so I used to do a series on my channel called Sunday refresh and I would share all about like my Sunday routine and what I do and so I thought I would bring you guys along today and show you as you can hear my house is super quiet the boys actually went to grandma's I just got back from dropping them off so it is 11:48 now so the plan is to get dinner started i'm going to show you guys a really yummy recipe from the new volume 2 magnolia homes or magnolia table cookbook and i want to work out i need to get ready for the day i need to meal prep a little bit do the kids clothes so i'm just going to take you guys through and show you what i do so if you're new don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and become a part of our YouTube family so you don't miss any of our content. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like routine videos. My sister is calling me. Okay, now I'm gonna show you guys this a recipe. I'm gonna get it started. And I'm also gonna tell you what I made for lunches this week. Super good. So this recipe is out of the Magnolia Table Volume 2. And I'm making this, it's called Sunday Pot Roast. So here's the recipe, screenshot that if you want it. And then these are all the ingredients that I'm using. I did improvise a little bit. I don't have a Dutch oven. I'm using my crock pot, but I do have Worcestershire sauce. I don't have any beef broth, but I have this. So I'm just gonna do this with water, some potatoes that I need to cut up, salt and pepper, carrots that I need to cut up, onion, it calls for a yellow onion. We have frozen. Um, two little things of garlic. It calls for two garlic, two whole garlics, and then a chuck roast. It calls for five pounds. I don't know how many. It, oh, it serves six. But I just got one that's, I think it's, it was defrosting. How much is this? This is almost two pounds. No, one and a, a pound and a half. It'll be fine for our family. And then this is the garlic that I use. It is from Trader Joe's. And it's crushed garlic and one cube equals one garlic clove so I that's why I'm using two so I'm gonna get all the produce prepared and then we're gonna get this going Okay, so the next thing that you're going to do is put everything in the crock pot. I'm going to start with the meat first. And then we're going to do... I like to put like my salt and pepper directly on the meat first. And then we're going to add in our garlic. Just squeeze these things out. There's one clove. So you need two cloves of garlic. There's two cloves of garlic. Then you need a bunch of onion. scissors off. So I'm just going to pour in a bunch of onion. We like onion. And then you're going to pour in your veggies. And then I am going to do my Better Than Bouillon beef base. But I'm going to put it directly in the cup of water first. Get a spoon. 
So I'm just gonna do it in here. Like that. And then just kind of like mix that up before I dump it all over everything. So and then I set my crock pot to high for six hours. It probably will be done in about four. So I'm gonna get this poured over everything. And then it calls for one fourth cup of Worcestershire, but I'm just gonna guess. We like Worcestershire too, so it doesn't matter. And then I'm gonna top it with a little bit more pepper and salt, and then that's gonna be it. This recipe is so easy to make. And then we're just gonna let this cook now. Okay, so I told you I would show, with, show you guys a really healthy, like super easy lunch idea. So I just baked these sweet potatoes on foil in the oven at 350 for one hour and they get like caramelized. They're super soft and then you throw them in the fridge and you can eat them cold. But then I do carrots with spicy brown mustard. This is the mustard I use and it's so good. So there's this girl that I follow on TikTok and she's the one who shared this and it's really good. I would have never thought that I would have like mustard on carrots, but it's so good. And mustard has nothing in it. Sodium. This is zero calories. And then she does her sweet potatoes cold, like from the, from the refrigerator, but literally just eat it. Really like this. And at first I was like, that's gonna be gross. So good, so easy, very filling. So I'm gonna eat this really quick, bring some water, and then I'm gonna go work out. Because I always try to do something for myself on Sundays, whether it's like take a bath, read a book, do something. And I don't typically work out on Sundays, but since the kids aren't here, it's like the perfect time. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, that was a really good. Definitely try it if you never have. So we're out this laundry up. So I am going to head into my office and work out. And then I'm gonna get ready for the day. Somewhat put myself together. So that I look semi presentable. So what I have been doing is I have been using the Peloton app on my computer. It's actually now on Roku and so you can play it straight from your TV if you have like a Roku. You could, if you have an Apple TV, you can cast it. So I'm just gonna pick out which workout I'm gonna do today and then get the show on the road. Okay, so I decided I'm gonna do this 30 minute Sundays with love. And so I put this on here and I usually put my computer up there on my shelf and then I work out on my elliptical. So this is the workout that I'm gonna do. like such a look so I did my workout I don't even know if you guys are gonna be able to take me serious looking like this okay so I can't take myself seriously but I did that workout I did it was like kind of like a self-love moving workout it was so good you guys it was exactly what I needed and it just felt so good and I feel like I released everything and I feel so good and ready to start the week so 
definitely do something for yourself. This is why I'm doing a face mask because I finished my workout. My face was like so beet red. And I'm like, you know, let me do a cooling face mask. So since my kids aren't here, I am taking advantage of this. My husband is actually on his way home. He'll be home probably within the next like 45 minutes. So I'm gonna take a shower and get ready. But I just wanted to tell you guys, like you can do something small, paint your nails, work out, take a bath, do a face mask, read a book, watch a movie that you wanna watch. Just do something for yourself so that you feel really good starting off the week. Everybody has like those few things that like will really set them like up for the week. I was gonna say set them apart, but like set them up for the week. Like mine is like making sure my plan is on paper, anything that I really need to do. Um, I like to really, really cook a hearty home cooked meal on a Sunday. I don't know, I guess growing up my mom always did like sit down dinners especially like we always did sit down dinners but really really did it on a sunday and it was always like something really hearty like i don't want to say comfort food because it wasn't always like necessarily comfort food but so that's why i'm making the pot roast for today it's just something that is like hearty and good we could sit down and have a nice family dinner together and then to do something for yourself, to do anything that you can to prepare for Monday morning. Because as we all know, when that alarm clock goes off, I'm like not ready for the weekend to be done. So I try to make sure that the kids' lunches are packed and the clothes are set out for the week and they're ready to go for daycare. Um, because my kids did start going back to daycare a few weeks ago and everything has been great. So, hi, I'm gonna let this dry for a few minutes and then I'm gonna get ready. All right, you guys, I'm back. <laughs> so, got ready, worked out, did something for myself. I think I'm gonna get the boys' clothes put away. Actually, this whole basket of laundry that is sitting on my bed put away. And get the boys' clothes picked out for the week because it's one of the things that I love to do. And then I think I'm going to run downstairs and pack their lunches. Just that that's done and out of the way. Now we're gonna take this basket and head on into the kids' room. I wanna get it put away, but I also need to lay their clothes out for the week. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do that and what we keep them in. And I always have a link for this. It's from Amazon down in the description box below because I get questions all the time on where I got it. So let's get this put away and then I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so all that laundry is put away. These are the boys, like, organizers. So I put an outfit in that has their pants, shirt, and their underwear for Monday through Friday, and then they could just pick out what they want on the weekends. I don't usually lay those out. But it's really nice because Liam is learning how to read, so he gets to can pick them out. They broke this, and they broke this one. Oh, and they broke this one. <laughs> But it's fine, it still serves its purpose and it just really helps me keep their clothes organized. Okay, one of the other things that I do is I water all my plants on Sundays. I water them with ice cubes because it's the best way to not overwater them. So these are all my plants. 
and I just leave them out here in the sun for a little while. Just put them out here to get some sun and just to water them. Okay, so now that I finished all of that up, usually the next thing that I'll do is sit down and like plan out my week and also meal plan. So that is what I'm gonna do now. Have my handy dandy Magnolia table cookbook. I have some mild liners, just like a random Erin Condren sticker book. And then I have my content planner. I just hit myself in the face with it. My content planner and also my daily duo, <clears throat> which I started using. So I'm going to do all of that and then I'm gonna get the kids' lunches packed. Some directions to get to you, to get to you. Ain't gonna waste my time. I know that we ain't got connection. I think about you. You're on my mind, on my mind, on my mind. Yeah, I'm going out of my mind, out of my mind, out of my mind. Yeah. For you, my love. You drive me crazy. Tell me what to do. All right, so here's what I was working on. This is the Erin Condren Daily Duo, and this is what I use to do like daily planning, and I like it because I could do like lists over here. It's just really nice. So starting tomorrow, I am really going to try to start getting up and working out, um, have quiet time actually. You'll have to head on over to my Instagram and see if I actually did it because when this video goes up, this it'll be the actual day that you're seeing this. Um, so I'm gonna try to do up and work out, quiet time, boys ready breakfast, boys to school, AM routine, which consists of like doing a load of laundry and emptying the dishwasher and picking up the house, that kind of thing. And then my work schedule. And then we typically pick the boys up right around five, do dinner um, and try to take a walk. And then bedtime is at seven. And then these are our meals for tomorrow. I'm gonna try to do toast or eggs for breakfast, a sweet potato with veggies for lunch and chicken fried rice for dinner. And then this is my meal plan for the week. I'm gonna put it on the board and I'll show you guys. The other thing that I did was go through my content planner. I put over here like these stickers so I can pick them up and put them over here when I need to uh, and kind of just plan out my videos for the next two weeks. Okay, here is the meal board. I constantly get asked all the time where this is from. It is from Hobby Lobby, but I did all of the vinyl on there and then I just used a chalk marker to write on it. So on Monday, we're gonna have chicken fried rice. Tuesday's gonna be tacos. Wednesday's leftovers. Thursday's make your own pizza. Friday's grilled chicken. Saturday is pulled pork. And then Sunday is gonna be chicken parm.
Okay, here are their lunches for tomorrow. So they both have ham, some, this is Trader Joe's version of Pirate Booty, some blueberries, uh, strawberries, these are little yogurt covered raisins. And then Liam has a yogurt and Caleb has a string cheese. So this is their lunches. It's all packed and ready to go. Highly recommend packing lunches the day before or the night before. Hi right, guys, so as you just saw, I put laundry in the washer and set my laundry in my washer machine to remote start because I can start it from the app in the morning. So I put all the laundry in, I put the soap in and everything so it's ready to go. So that is everything that I do on a Sunday to prepare for the upcoming week ahead. I hope this gave you guys some motivation to start your week off on the right foot as well. If it did and you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Again, don't forget to subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye. Don't you know that you're